Well, it's, been, oh, it's been fantastic, you know, um, uh, we re received a warm welcome, uh, so that's enabled us to uh, have the ideal prep, uh, you know, our facilities are fantastic, uh, uh, we've got everything really to maximise our performance. Just on, on the squad itself, 34 travel times, all fit and uh, Yeah, all fit and healthy, and that's great for us, uh, especially, uh, you know, this time of the year, so to have everybody available to us is fantastic. Yeah, good, in fairness. So you're yeah, back to uh, full training, which is great. Now, that's the latest edition, a bit of a whirlwind 24 hours for him, the birth of his second child, just as the final just as he landed. How's he been? Oh, he's been brilliant. Obviously, he trained with us today. Uh, we gave him an extra 48 hours, so hopefully, to uh, be there for the birth of his child. But uh, in fairness to him, he's come out here, trained, and uh, you know uh, he's in a very good place. Well, obviously, uh, uh, they play a certain style. We're all aware of that style. It's uh, very confrontational and uh, very physical, and uh, uh, you know that's what we're preparing for. Well, from our perspective, we're very much looking forward to the test. You know, uh, we've got a wonderful group of players. Uh, it's certainly been, been a long time between. Uh, uh, our last game, which was Italy, and we, we, you know, we're chomping at the bit because we got a world-class group here who are very much looking forward to a uh, intense Test match. Hopefully, if, uh, it's going to be a sellout, and uh, that's the reason you play the game. It's going to be incredible. That would be brilliant. That would be absolutely brilliant. You know, from our perspective, you know, we're excited for the challenge ahead. You know, huge amount of respect for the opposition, but. Uh, for us, we're, lo we're looking forward to playing our game plan and uh, you know, playing it with style. Steve, you've got George North available to you for the first time in a while. If you're defending against him at 13, what sort of things have you got to consider? Well, obviously, George is, uh, uh, is a very, very good ball player. You know, he's, a, he's a great running threat. And uh, you know, uh, when the ball does become slow, um, you know, when you're over 100 ki kilograms, you can certainly give a team go forward, which, which is great. So he does a bit of everything for you? Very, very balanced player, you know, a world-class player, and uh, you know he has lots to his game. You dropped uh, Lewis during the Six Nations. He went away to Gloucester, and he pretty much scored a, a try a game six of Six Nations. What did you make of his reaction to that? Well, he's a young man who's working very, very hard at his game. You know, we know uh, the nature of international rugby is uh, very challenging, but uh, you've got to give players credit and uh, to how they respond. And uh, he's gone away, worked very hard in his game, and uh, we all know what a talent he is. Um, and the best thing for us is we know the intensities a, a test arena brings and as a young winger you have to be able to repeat uh, uh, the challenges that are asked for you. So it's credit to the young guy that he's gone away and worked very, very hard. No sharp attacking threats are in the back three. You expect them to get a lot of chances to counter-attack? Well, I think there's going to be uh, a big aerial battle. Uh, we, we know that's coming. Uh, very, very physical at the breakdown. You know, what we have to be is incredibly smart in the way that we play the game and uh, we have to have uh, uh, balance to our game uh, but it has to be in the right areas of the park. Just like you talk about balance in the game, what role are the forwards going to play in open play? Because it probably can, can't just be a confrontational thing, you've got to do that but you've also got to use them to create You're, spaces elsewhere. It's spot on with what you're saying, we can't be one dimensional in what we do, we have to have variety and we have to have options to what we do. You know, that's what we're training to do and uh, you're, you're right. Stephen, what are you getting from some of the lads over here that have been hired in the past year? And what are you getting from them? Not just as in the first round of the table game, but also the second game there. I think they were obviously uh, part of a very, very in intense physical test series. You know, we got three games to look forward to. So uh, a lot of our boys uh, experienced that uh, uh, last summer out here. So uh, we'll be expecting the same. That, that's a big difference to them, you know. To be your know, touring is a wonderful opportunity to see, see places, you grow the mind, enjoy the experience, enjoy the welcome you have, uh, and they're certainly having that fair from this tour. Yeah, obviously we, we've got our own style of play and our own, our own game plan we built. Obviously, uh, you know, South Africa have a very, very good defensive system. But uh, uh, the question was asked earlier: you have to have variety in what you do. 
uh, and we, we must have that on, uh, on Saturday. Yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, the advantage is we got here early. Uh, uh, we've been able to train, uh, have a number of train sessions before the game, and uh, uh, our, our boys are, have been prepared well by our excellent um, physical performance department. But our challenge as coaches is, is to be smart, and how we manage the energy of the group and how, how we play has to, has to reflect that. Um, we still want to play a certain style, obviously, but uh, probably how, how we manage the bench is going to be key as well. Okay. Uh, we can take one more question in English and then we'll move to Welsh. So um, a lot of, uh, Coach, a lot has been said about uh, the Welsh teams in the URC not playing, not performing uh, adequately against the South African franchises. Um, is there a certain mental and uh, psychological barrier that you guys have to head No, not at all. In the sense, if you look at uh, the last six games that Africa and Wales have played, they've been incredibly uh, close games. Uh, and obviously we had a vast majority of our group were out here last year in the, in the summer uh, for the Lions Tour. So, um, you know, we, they've experienced a lot of uh, test matches against SA. Okay. Oh, I'll do one final one. Yeah. Go on then. Uh, Christine, you obviously you're here to draw your mind, Loftus, the Lions, and so on. <coughs> How do you explain to the players um, that's waiting for them um, at Loftus? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, uh, you know, as a player growing up, you know, to play South Africa, it, you know, in an amazing venue which is going to be sold out, you know, you have to be excited because you know there's going to be a physical challenge. You know it's going to be an intense game, but that, that's the reason you play the game, isn't it? to experience those environments. So it's going to be very, very special for us. Okay, thank you. And we're now moving to Welsh, so Dal. Yeah, I'm very good. I'm having great with the Masma. I'm a great person. 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 I'm a great yeah, what a take, Rony, Pedro de Goisa, Rive, Nolan, and Camry Vach, uh, I, 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 Yeah, great. I don't have any mind. I don't have any water game. I'm going to go for a race. I'm going to go for a roll. And I'm going to go for a car. I don't have any water game. I'm going to go for a car. I'm going to go for a car. Well, I'm going to go for a car. I'm going to go for a team, of course. I'm going to go for a team. I'm going to go for a car. I'm going to go for a car. They didn't show up, but they didn't show up, but they didn't show up, but they Well, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the game, and I'm going to go for the game. Yeah, I'm going for the game. 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 Ciao, Corea.